Hey guys, Bill here. You know, if you're like me, you've probably seen a lot of these pictures of like really big crocodiles all over the internet, right? But check this one out. This was sent to me by Bill's channel viewer Gluck Pej in Germany. Gluck says this photograph was taken in Africa, and what he wants to know is, is it real or is it fake? And he also wants to know, is it the biggest crocodile in the world? I did some checking around, and the picture can be found all over the internet. And many of these postings claim it is the biggest crocodile in the world. But what's the real story here? At Snopes.com, they claim the picture is authentic. They claim it's a very big Nile crocodile that was killed in Zimbabwe, Africa. It was shot by a man named Steve Curl, who assists Zimbabwe's national parks with problem animals. The crocodile was killing too many cows that belonged to the local community. I can already hear a lot of you guys out there complaining, why would they kill that beautiful crocodile just because it was eating cows? All right, let me, let's, take, let's pause for a second because I want to explain something to you. A lot of these communities in Africa, and I mean all over Africa, the people who live there, they don't really have a chance to put their money in the bank because there are no banks. So what they do is they invest in their cattle. And so in essence, their cattle becomes their wealth. That's why when a crocodile starts eating their cattle, it's a really big deal. Snopes claims it got its information about the croc from a unknown publication. Now this was a little odd for Snopes to rely on sketchy information like that. So I headed into the remote corners of the internet to find this unknown publication. It took some doing, but I finally found it, and it's called African Hunter Magazine. I was able to contact one of the editors at the magazine, a guy named Mr. Anthony Williams, and he told me via email where the picture came from and how it got on the internet. I also published a fishing magazine and was visiting a tackle shop when I saw the picture propped up on the back counter. Now, according to Mr. Williams, the guy who shot the crocodile is also the man who took the picture and left it in the tackle shop for other locals to check out. This man's name, according to Williams, is Steve Curl, and that's the same name that's mentioned by Snopes. I'd not met Steve at that stage, so I phoned him and arranged an interview for an article. Mr. Curl told Mr. Williams that the photograph is real. There's been no technical enhancements or any Photoshop, anything like that, but there is a bit of a forced perspective issue with the photograph. The crocodile laying here on the wall is separated by a greater distance from those people than it first appears. The people apparently are sitting some distance behind the crocodile. Mr. Williams then went on to write an article about Steve and his work that he does for the national park systems in dealing with these problem animals. I did not put the picture on the net, but published it in our magazine. Since then, I've seen it many times on the net and with many different rubbish stories attached to it. Now this does shed a lot of light on this picture and I want to thank Anthony for helping me out on this. But before we pass judgment, let's recap what we've learned so far. Both Snopes and Hoaxer Fact claim it's authentic. Anthony Williams found the original picture in a tackle shop. And just now, Steve Curl himself has verified he took the picture. Based on everything that we've been able to gather so far, I'm judging the picture of the super crocodile from Africa to be real. Now, as to the size of the crocodile, that's a totally different issue. But could it be the biggest crocodile in the world, as so many of these websites have claimed? Well, unfortunately, there are no official measurements of the crocodile. But the people at African Hunter Magazine have come up with a really clever way to do an estimate. If you look at the photograph, you will notice an orange cigarette butt laying on the ground a few inches below and back from the croc's left foot. Being Zimbabwe, the cigarettes are all pretty standard between 20 and 30 millimeters. So using an average of 25 millimeters, the magazine measured the croc with it 
and the estimate came out to be somewhere between 15 and 16 feet. Okay, now if we take this clever measurement that was done by African Hunter Magazine and their estimate of between 15 and 16 feet, and then divide that with Steve Curl's own estimate of 18 feet, I think we can safely say that this crocodile is definitely under 20 feet. That would place it well under the reigning officially measured Philippine crocodile named Lo Long, which was confirmed to be 20.3 feet. Okay, so I just wanna thank Glove Pesh for sending me that amazing photograph, and the guys at African Hunter Magazine for helping me dig up the facts on this thing. And by the way, there is now, the, the full article from the magazine is now online, and I'm gonna leave a link for it right at the top of the description box below. So click on it, head over there, and check it out. Thank you.